So this is really, really odd, but we have no new information about the upcoming redesigned MacBook Pros that could be launching as soon as March 2021. And instead we have information about the 2022 refresh of the MacBook Air. Yes, we have leaks about a product that's not even launching in 2021. That's how insane Apple leaks have got. But either way, of course, I thought I'd delve into the story and give you guys some of my expectations on what to expect with this MacBook Air refresh. And so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So of course, this is not the first time we're hearing about a MacBook Air refresh because Minchi Kuo claimed a few weeks back that we should see a mini LED version of the MacBook Air launch in 2022. And well, pretty much just like Minchi Kuo told us, we have Digitimes, who is a supply chain expert. They claim that yes, Apple is preparing mini LED displays for a potential Air refresh in 2022. Now, of course, the question that comes to mind is exactly when can we expect this in 2022? Well, we have no leaks about this since it is very much early days for this refresh, but if I were to guess, I think it makes sense for Apple to release this in early 2022. Because of course, historically, Apple's kind of split the year into two. We have the first half of the year, which is where they release the pretty boring releases, the products that they kind of forgot to release at the end of last year, and the refreshes that are pretty minor. And of course, the second half of the year is way more exciting. We have iPhones to look forward to, and of course, on top of that, a potential Mac event where Apple releases redesigned versions of their existing Mac products. But I don't think this MacBook Air is going to be falling into that category and I'll be explaining why later on. And so because I think this is going to be a pretty minor refresh, I think it's going to be releasing at some sort of March event or maybe just somewhere during the first half of 2022. I mean, apart from the M1 MacBook Air, which of course is very special because it's one of the first Apple Silicon Macs, Every other MacBook Air refresh we have had recently was pretty much a quiet site refresh and so I very much expect the same with this mini LED version. Talking about mini LED, that's probably going to be the biggest feature of this MacBook Air refresh, at least that's what I think the rumors are kind of pointing towards and we know that Apple is kind of fleshing out mini LED across their iPad and Mac lineup mini LEDs, basically LCD with the benefits of OLEDs, such as of course the great colors, high dynamic range, deep blacks. This is pretty much as close as an LCD panel can get to of course being an OLED. Right, this is gonna be something that I think a lot of us are gonna be debating on for a while and that is design. What is Apple gonna be doing with the MacBook Air in terms of design? So we pretty much know for sure the MacBook Pros should be getting some sort of major redesign, maybe something along the lines of the iPad Pro, thinner bezels, Face ID maybe, the whole lot, that's coming to the MacBook Pro, but we have pretty much no leaks about the MacBook Air getting the same treatment. And so I very much see three possible directions Apple can take with the design of the next MacBook Air. Number one, of course, is like I mentioned, that MacBook Pro redesign trickling down to possibly the MacBook Air lineup. Now, of course, everybody would love to see Apple refreshing the MacBook Air lineup with a huge redesign, but unfortunately, I think that is very unlikely. And so let me explain why. So the huge focus for the MacBook Air lineup for years has been price. That's pretty much the huge reason behind the Air success. It's so cheap. It's a great entry level Mac. And so I'm not sure if Apple wants to risk making the MacBook Air slightly more expensive in favor of a new design. In fact, historically speaking, you might notice the Air really rarely changes in terms of design. For example, before 2018, we had a design that was pretty much eight years old, okay? Apple had the original 2008 MacBook, they slightly tweaked that design in 2010, and then up until 2018, they kept that same design around. And so I very much expect Apple to do the same with the 2018 design we have right now. And so, yes, I highly doubt Apple is gonna risk making the Air more expensive and give us a huge redesign. Now, of course, there is also another wildcard with the design and that is possibly Apple converting 
the MacBook Air lineup into the 12 inch MacBook design. So I mentioned this because we had a lot of rumors over the summer about Apple possibly reviving the 12 inch MacBook. And it makes sense, of course, because the 12 inch MacBook is practically built for Apple Silicon. It's so thin and light and it was absolutely crippled by Intel. But of course, because of the efficiency of Apple Silicon, the thin and light design will work hand in hand with, of course, the M1 chip. And so it was really odd to me that after hearing numerous reports about this design coming back, we didn't end up getting this design in November. And so there is a possibility that maybe Apple's thinking of replacing the 13 inch form factor with of course the 12 inch MacBook. Also, if Apple goes with the 12 inch design, then of course Apple can differentiate the MacBook Air lineup from the base MacBook Pro, which is of course an issue I have right now because the MacBook Air and the base MacBook Pro, because they come in such similar sizes, are way too similar to be together in the lineup. And so I guess the introduction of a 12 inch MacBook Air could make a lot of sense in that regard. But do I think that is likely? No, I don't think that's likely because I feel like the MacBook is too small for most people. You see, the MacBook Air is Apple's default laptop. A lot of people just buy it. And as soon as someone thinks of a MacBook, they think of the MacBook Air. And so I feel like in that way, the 13 inch size is just right for a lot of consumers. It's not too big and it's not too small. And so again, I feel like Apple's not gonna mess with that formula they have right now and reduce the size of the MacBook Air. And so coming back to my point on design, because Apple wants to keep the price the same or possibly make it cheaper, I think they will keep the design the same. And I think I can see Apple keeping the 2018 Retina MacBook Air design for a few more years and then possibly giving us a huge redesign, a huge overhaul in the near future. Another question one might have is, what's Apple gonna do with biometrics on the MacBook Air? Because it is highly anticipated that we see Face ID debut on the MacBook Pros and possibly the iMac. And so will Apple bring that to the MacBook Air 2? Well, as jokey as this sounds, I think if Apple does update the webcam to possibly 1080p quality, finally in 2022, then I can see that tying in with Face ID and possibly Apple giving us true depth sensors on the Air 2. I think the only issue is that the lid is slightly too thin to have Face ID sensors. Possibly they could minimize the components by 2022 and so that wouldn't be an issue. But for the time being, I can't see Apple giving us existing Face ID sensors into that super thin lid of the MacBook. And so yes, while Face ID is up in the air, I think Touch ID will remain the main biometric system on the MacBook Air. Now we come to the most interesting part of the MacBook Air upgrade, and that is of course the chip. What is Apple gonna give the MacBook Air next? So you see, Apple using numbers on their MacBook lineup makes sense right now, but I feel like they're gonna have an issue further on in the future. For example, what if the MacBook Air has an M3 chip, because of course it's gonna be the third generation of the M series in 2022, then surely that's gonna confuse consumers who might see the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros coming with M1X chips and the iMacs possibly coming with M2. Because I don't see Apple updating these MacBooks on a regular basis together. And so it's gonna be really odd in terms of chips, how this is exactly gonna work because I'm not really sure in terms of the marketing that a lower cost MacBook Air with an M3 is gonna be alongside a more expensive M1X 16 inch MacBook Pro. And so a possibility could be the fact that maybe Apple keeps around the M1 in this new version of the MacBook Air, because of course the M1 is more than fine as a chip, for an entry level machine. And I think for a lot of people who buy the MacBook Air, the M1 is gonna be fine as it is. And so there is a possibility the chip stays the same for this new generation. I mean, take a look at the iPad lineup. They tend to keep chip refreshes once per two years. So we had the sixth and seventh generation version of the iPad sharing the same A10 chip. And so something similar could happen here too. Though possibly Apple could also modify the M1 slightly and keep the same name, but of course update the chip by possibly giving it slightly more cores or better GPUs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Slightly modifying the chip by keeping basically the same architecture of the M1. I guess we'll have to see, but yes, 
I do kind of see an issue arising with the number scheme of these M series chips because of course Apple doesn't release these at the same time and so maybe Apple will start to release these Macs together in the future to kind of resolve this. In terms of RAM and storage I would expect things to stay pretty much the same as much as I'd love to see 16 gigs and 512 gigs of storage as standards that's just wishful thinking. And of course, we finally come to the price. Now, this is probably the most important part out of everything for most of you. And well, Minshew Kuo claimed this MacBook Air would be more affordable. Now, of course, there are two ways to look at that statement. He could be saying this is more affordable than the MacBook Pros, which of course is very true. But he could also be saying that maybe this MacBook Air could be getting cheaper. So of course, because of these Apple silicon chips instead of Intel, Apple saves billions and billions and billions of dollars. And so realistically, they can actually afford to make these MacBooks cheaper. As to how much we're gonna save, nobody really knows. But if we take a look at the past, Apple's actually been slowly decreasing the price of the Air by $100. And so I think there is a possibility that Apple could drop this to 899 or possibly even 849 or maybe even 799. Okay, maybe I'm getting a bit too excited, but at the very least I would expect 899 to be the new price and then think about it. For students, that means you could get a new MacBook Air with mini LED and possibly a chip upgrade for $799. That's insane value for the amount of performance you're getting and yes, I can see that being a huge, huge seller for Apple. But tell me in the comments below, do you think the MacBook Air will get cheaper or do you think it will stay at the same $999 price for the foreseeable future? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out a video here in the icon above about a potential iPhone SE Plus launching in April 2021. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.